This is the hold all test kit from Lowe's and it tests both the pH so of your soil as well as nitrogen, phosphorus, and potash. And it is color coded for the pH test, which is in this green tube on the right. You just fill it with soil. And then for these others, you make a mixture of one part soil and five parts water. So we're gonna do that now. We're gonna go to a different section and grab a soil sample from there. It decided to help me. So you want to go down about four inches, it says, for shrubs and perennials. That looks good. about good, babe. There it is, our soil sample. So I've just dumped the soil sample into the bottom of the bucket and I'm just gonna pick out, this is to pick out any tiny little root particles like this um, and then to let it just sort of dry out and to also pick out any rocks or stones or anything like that. It comes with these little capsules that you pull apart and it also comes with this little pipette. And we're gonna go ahead and get started with the very first one pH test, you fill the tube with soil to the first line. Ben likes it. And then, I'm gonna open the green capsule. to fill water to the fourth line. So that's what it looks like here. And we're gonna go up to the fourth line. about a minute it says the color will develop and we'll compare it to this chart of colors. So I'm about to make the slurry for the nitrogen, phosphorus, and potash tests. You got one part soil and this is five tablespoons of water. So I'm just gonna add that in, mix it around, and then you're gonna let it settle for about 30 minutes and we're gonna actually siphon off the liquid that is resting on top because that'll be the dissolved minerals and potash and everything there. So once it's nice and mixed, this is fun. This is like when you're a kid <laughs> making mud flurry. Just gonna let it rest. And then we can check while we're waiting on that on our pH. So for our soil, it looks pretty green. I'm gonna say that somewhere in between seven, pH seven neutral, maybe slight acid, but I think it's more just very neutral soil. So we've allowed this to settle for, what, maybe an hour? And I'm just going to open of these. 
they're all just empty tubes, but I'm gonna try and keep them color coordinated. Uh, and so this is the sediment on top. Reminds me of food science lab. I fill it up to the fourth line without disturbing the sediment in the jar. So now I'm just going to add each of these colors in order, sort of right to left. I've ordered the caps in the same order as the colors. And I'm just gonna break open the capsule into this one. And then it says to shake it and wait 10 minutes for the color to develop. So, back in flash. Um, we'll start with the purple. Obviously, we have low, very low, almost no nitrogen at all in our soil. So we're definitely going to be adding nitrogen and um, plant-rich compost, nitrogen-rich compost, etc. We have a very high phosphorus, as it looks. Um, Maybe it's not supposed to be cloudy. I'm, I'm not sure. This one has not separated very much, but I think this is a high result of phosphorus. We'll check it again in a few minutes. And then for potash, I would say it's very low uh, to low. It's definitely not high or concentrated amount um, once, the, once it's separated. Um, I think what we're looking at what's in solution, not necessarily what's on top here. So. For what's in solution, we've got low to very low of the potash. So we'll be adding in the different things. Um, this kit tells you what to add um, right here for changing the pH, um, as well as recommendations for the nitrogen, phosphorus, or excuse me, potash and potassium results uh, here, depending on what you're planting. So that's pretty cool. All right, so that's the pulled all soil test kits. And I feel like we have a pretty good plan. I wanted to show you guys real quickly where we got our soil sample from in the bed. So we took one kind of near the perimeter right here. And then our other one we took um, somewhere towards the middle edge of the bed. It just looked like maybe there was two different types of soil um, there. So we took it from these two.